least bitterns are sought after and difficult to find birds. Not that they're uncommon, they aren't. But they are small and hide effectively in dense stands of cane or rushes. The male's haunting call is one of the mystery sounds of the marsh. Occasionally, though, one comes to the edge of the reeds and you can actually see him make his song. Reddish egrets are fun to watch. They cavort back and forth across shallow saltwater flats, turning on a dime, wings flashing, stabbing at the water, sometimes getting a fish, sometimes not. They act like a waiter who just realized that he dropped his Rolex in there somewhere. You don't often see the white phase reddish egret. and even less often see one fishing in the rolling surf where moving water makes its Viking Raider fishing tactics less effective. But it's a lovely sight against the blue water and waves. Few people would look to the great blue heron for unusual behaviors. They do have a rather hypnotic courtship ritual, but are mostly pretty ordinary birds. Imagine my surprise when on an April afternoon in 2003, not far from downtown Miami, Florida, I found a dozen of them flying in circles high in the sky. They weren't soaring on thermals, this was flapping flight. They weren't apparently going anywhere special. For two and a half minutes, they stayed in the same place. Whatever they were doing, they weren't very good at it, frequently running into each other. Just round and round. Could it be for fun? <laughs> <laughs> 